Before using your data logger, you will need to insert the 3.61 half AA battery. To do this, you will need a very small screwdriver. A jeweler screwdriver will work best. Locate the top portion of the battery cover clip on the front of the device. Using the screwdriver, press down on the clip until you feel the cover give way. Remove the cover and then insert the battery, paying attention to the polarity. Once the battery is inserted, each LED light will flash. You will then see an LED flash green. You can then slide the cover back on and begin setting up your device. Before you can begin using your USB data logger thermometer, you will need to download the software. Open your web browser and go to www.easylogusb.com. If you look at the web page, you will see additional videos on how to set up the data logger and download the data. There is also a file that contains instructions on how to install, but we will cover all of these procedures in this video. Towards the bottom of the page, there is a box that you can click on to begin the software download. When prompted, choose the Save As option. Then select the location to save the zip file and click save. When the download is complete, go to the location where you saved the zip file. Open the zip file and select setup.exe to begin the installation. To avoid any possible installation issues, I am going to extract the contents of the zip file to a new folder and run setup.exe from there. After a few moments, the software install wizard will begin. Installation is straightforward. Just click on Next to proceed. Accept the license agreement. Click Install. Then Finish. After another brief moment, the device driver installation will begin. Click on Install. When prompted, click on OK after the driver installation is complete. After installing the software, insert the data logger into an available USB port on your computer and launch Easy Log USB. After the program is loaded, click on the option Set Up and Start the USB Data Logger. By default, the name of the device is Easy Log USB. You can change the name of the device to anything you like using 15 characters or less. I'll name my device Pharmacy Fridge. Next, choose a unit of measure you wish the data to be recorded in, Fahrenheit or Celsius. I will choose Fahrenheit. Lastly, using the drop down arrow, choose how often you wish to have the device record the temperature. Notice the more frequent the device records the temperature, the shorter the time it takes to fill the memory of the device. I'll choose to read the device once every two minutes. Click on Next to continue. You now have three options to choose how you want your LCD display to function. Off, on for 30 seconds after button press, and LCD always on. Keep in mind, the longer the LCD stays on, the quicker it can drain the battery. Also, the response times will slow down in colder temperatures. I will choose the option to turn on the LCD after performing a button press. Next, select the option how the logger should react when the memory is full. One, you can immediately have the logger stop. That gives you the opportunity to download the data without fear of losing any records. The other is to have the logger to continue to log, but begin overwriting old data. Just remember that once data is overwritten, it cannot be recovered. I will choose to stop the logger when full. If you're happy with your settings, click Next to proceed. Now select the temperature alarms to be set, either high, low, both, or none. I will record both. If you check the box to disable the LEDs, they will show no activity of any kind. Next, type in the temperature for your high alarm value. When finished, do the same for the low alarm value. 
you can choose to check the hold box if you want the data logger to report there was an alarm condition even after the temperature has returned to the set parameters. Again, if you're satisfied with the settings, click on Next to continue. You can now configure how many consecutive readings the thermometer reads in an alarm condition before it is indicated by the LEDs. For example, you can tell the thermometer to wait until after five high readings are outside of the high alarm settings before having the LED indicate an alarm. This configuration is useful when the environment condition may change for a brief period of time, such as having to leave a fridge door open to restock. Since I have the thermometer set to record every two minutes, I don't believe I need a delay and will keep the default settings of one alarm condition for high and low. Again, press next to continue. You can now choose to have the USB data logger to start recording the temperature right away, at the push of a button, or at a desired date and time. I recommend starting the data logger at least one hour after you have completed your setup so that the device has a chance to adjust to the environment it will be recording in. Click on Finish to complete the setup. Click on OK on the final screen and remove the data logger from the USB port. Place the cat back over the USB connector and place the device in the desired location. I recommend placing it in an area where it is least likely to be disturbed and will not be exposed to fluctuating temperatures such as the door of the refrigerator or freezer. The USB logger has two LED lights on the side of the unit that flash to indicate various messages. A green double flash every 20 seconds indicates that the data logger is full but there are no alarms. Plug the device into your PC and download the data. A green single flash every 30 seconds indicates the data logger is programmed for a delayed start. A green single flash every 20 seconds indicates that the data logger has a low battery but is still logging and there are no alarms. Make arrangements to download the data and replace the battery before it is depleted. A green single flash every 10 seconds indicates the device is actively logging and there are no alarms. A red-green dual flash every 20 seconds indicates the logger is full and the last value recorded is equal to or exceeds the high or low alarm. Plug the device into your PC and download the data. A red double flash every 10 seconds indicates the device is actively logging but the high alarm has been exceeded. If you set up the device to hold the alarm, the LED will continue to flash even after the temperature has returned to within set limits. Make arrangements to download the data and restart the device. A red double flash every 20 seconds indicates the device is actively logging but the high alarm has been exceeded and the battery is running low. If you set up the device to hold the alarm, the LED will continue to flash even after the temperature has returned to within set limits. Also, make arrangements to download the data and replace the battery before it is depleted. A red single flash every 10 seconds indicates the device is actively logging, but the low alarm has been exceeded. If you set up the device to hold the alarm, the LED will continue to flash even after the temperature has returned to within set limits. Make arrangements to download the data and restart the device. A red single flash every 20 seconds indicates the device is actively logging, but the low alarm has been exceeded and the battery is running low. If you set up the device to hold the alarm, the LED will continue to flash even after the temperature has returned to within set limits. Also, make arrangements to download the data and replace the battery before it is depleted. No LEDs flashing indicates that the data logger has either stopped or the battery is exhausted. If you confirm the battery has power, plug the device into the USB port on your PC and run setup and start the USB data logger. As you see before you are the LED flashing modes for the EL USB-1 LCD thermometers. If you click anywhere on the screen, you will be directed to the Healthcare Logistics product page where you can download a copy of the instructions for future reference. If you set up your thermometer for a delayed start, when you push the button, you will see DS on the display. Even if the thermometer is configured for the display to always be on, the screen will remain blank until the device has started. 
Then the current temperature will automatically appear. If you set up your thermometer to push to start, you will see PS flashing on the display. Once you push the button, you will see log on the display to indicate that the thermometer has started recording. If you also set up the thermometer for the LCD to stay on, the current temperature will display after a few seconds. If you set up your thermometer for the LCD to stay off, if the button is pushed, only the letters LOG will appear. It will not be possible for any user to view any data from the display when the LCD is off. If security is essential, keeping the LCD off will be your proper setup. Reviewing the data on display is quite easy. When you push the button for the first time, if the LCD is not on, you will see the current temperature of the environment. Push the button a second time and you will see the highest temperature since the thermometer was last cleared. Push the button a third time and you will see the lowest temperature since the thermometer was last cleared. And a fourth push will cycle the display back to the current temperature. When you are ready to read the records from the USB data logger, insert it into the USB port on your computer and launch the EasyLog USB software. Click on the option to stop the USB data logger and download the data. When prompted, click on yes to confirm you are sure you wish to do this. A message will soon appear that the logger is in the stop condition. You will also see the assigned name of your data logger and the number of records that will be downloaded. Click on OK and the Windows Explorer window will appear. Browse to the location you wish to save the records. Give it a descriptive name, then click on Save. Back at the EasyLog USB program, click on OK. After a few moments, the EasyLog Graph program will launch. It may open behind the EasyLog USB program if so, just click on the EasyLog Graph window to bring it forward. You will now see a graph interpreting the data that was collected. If you scroll across the graph, you will see the date, time, and temperature when the record was taken. At the bottom, you will see the date and time range of the records. You can also remove certain lines from the graph by unchecking the box next to the corresponding name of the line. Of course, checking the box returns the line to the graph. If you move your mouse over the icons, a description of the function appears at the bottom of the icon. If you modify the graph in any way, such as what lines you wish to view, you can save the graph with the changes you made. Click on the magnifying glasses to zoom in or out of the graph. The clock will allow you to zero in on a specific time period. The printer will allow you to print the report. Export will allow you to export the report to various formats, such as CSV, JPEG, PDF, data or graph, or Microsoft Excel, data and graph. Mark samples will highlight the graph every time a record was taken. Statistics will show quick information, such as the highest or lowest temperature reading, the average temperature, and the standard. If you click on Data View, you can review the details of each record taken. Any record that is outside of the set limits will have the temperature highlighted in red. If you're only interested in viewing the alarm records, you can simply click on the Show Alarms Only icon in the upper right corner. Notice the icon name will change to Show All Readings to return to the default view. It is important to remember that the device was stopped prior to downloading the data. Before you can use the data logger again, you will need to rerun the setup and start data logger option. You should not need to change any values except to delay the start time. Save data can be read anytime using the Easy Log Graph. You can launch the program by clicking on View Previously Saved Data from the Easy Log USB menu or from the Windows menu. Simply launch the program and browse to the location of where you are saving your data logger files. By default, if you've modified a previous file, such as altering the view or applying a filter, and then save the changes, the program will add the word modified to the file name. Find your file and then open it. 
Once opened, the operation is just the same as what was just demonstrated to you.